Welcome to Right on the Money, the weekly talk show with interviews you can use to help you maximize your money and optimize your financial future. Before moving forward with any of the ideas discussed on the show, always consult your financial advisor, insurance professional, or tax consultant. Looking for financial help or a second opinion? We can help you in your search. And now, your host of Right on the Money, syndicated financial columnist and money color commentator, Steve Savant. In this segment, we're talking to retirement specialist Joel Brashler. Welcome to the show, Joel. Thanks for having me. Tampa, you're from Tampa, Florida. You've been in the business almost 20 years. Correct. And I'm really surprised always when I see young advisors doing Medicare. I mean, it just seems like, hey, you know, you're playing with the geriatrics, my baby boomer generation, right? So, but you really are into this. Correct. And you use this as a real launching point to help seniors. I mean, I think it's shocking. I just found this out shortly before I had to enroll myself. I found out that Medicare, I knew it was means tested. I didn't know, Joel, that it was means tested for your last two years. I have boomers coming out of work making six figures. This is going to affect our Medicare premium, is it not? That's true. Talk it, about that. That's true. It does affect the uh, Medi Medicare premium. The look back is two years. So for example, is maybe maybe somebody's a single individual that made over that eighty-five thousand mm -hmm. threshold two years ago, and now they're retired, mm -hmm. or thinking about retiring. Well, they're going to pay more mm -hmm. for their Medicare Part B. They're also going to pay more for their drug plan, the Part mm -hmm. D drug plan. If they're a uh, couple, and that threshold is twice as much, um, they're also going to pay more for that. So we have to kind of think about during our retirement planning, we need to start thinking about this. Maybe we had to cut a little deferred comp deal with our employer, maybe to kind That's of correct. help that. That's correct. It, it's, it's something you, people should plan well before mm -hmm. they're really close to that 65, and maybe a couple of years before, four or five years before, mm -hmm. not, nothing like that. So they're planning for their retirement mm -hmm. versus having to pay a lot higher amount. Well, I'm thinking most seniors now are almost up to almost up to speed on social security mm -hmm. we're still debating should i take it at 62 66 age 70 but i don't think many people are up to speed on medicare at all no i find out most people are very shocked when they're uh, getting a plan mm -hmm. and uh, they're finding out their fee they're going to get a notice in the mail from social security mm -hmm. when they when they see that i get calls all the time and like why is my why am i going to pay so much you know mm -hmm. i have a friend that pays uh a lot lower amount. Why is my amount so high? Mm -hmm. they, they, they don't really get the explanation. Well, I, I, I like the idea. I think, you know, we have to warn our seniors, hey, listen, this is mean tested. Oh, my goodness. It's going to take the last two years of your income. And that could be if you're coming directly from a six figure income and you're going right into Medicare and retirement, that could be a problem. Yeah, I, I certainly agree with that. And, you know, here's an example of somebody. I remember one client is they took out money to get a brand new car. Now, all mm -hmm. of a sudden, boom, they were thrown in that threshold. Now, there is there is some ways. Um, somebody was to contact me. There is some ways that, that they can uh, get that uh, appealed. There's a whole process mm -hmm. for that. But, but I just want people to know that, mm -hmm. you know, this, this can be really something that they need to look at. Okay, so we need to plan before we hit our Medicare year, right, 65. That Correct. You got, what, seven months, I think it is, right? Three on one side, the month of your birthday, and three on the other side? That's correct. Okay, now, that's just plan A. Now, here's another, here's another, a uh, whole other myth we have here. The guy says, I enrolled in, in uh, Medicare, I'm done. <laughs> and I didn't know that's just the beginning, right? I just did A. A does what? Well, Med Medicare Part Medicare Part A is for their hospital coverage. Mm -hmm. Medicare Part B, what I was talking about, being paying that uh, means test, it is the doctors. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I go to appointments. Uh, I might have a copay. I might have a deductible. Correct. I mean, I would, correct. I, it's a whole new world, right? We're leaving. A lot of people are leaving Obamacare, go into Medicare. So, so l talk to me about B because this is the one where it's means tested, and does it cover everything? No, it, unfortunately, it does not cover so, everything. So plan, I thought plan B was to cover everything. When I first read this, I thought, oh, I'm done. I just have to buy my plan B. But now we need plan B. And how many of them are different? I mean, I looked at plan B. That is that just the Medicare? Some people do the Advantage plan. Some people go to Medicare plan B gap insurance. I mean, it's all over the board. Well, after somebody gets their Medicare Part A and the Medicare Part B, then they're going to have to choose whether they want something to cover the gap, cover mm -hmm. the deductibles, cover the copays. Of course, Medicare has to pay first. Mm -hmm. And the gap plan would cover that individual gap. Mm -hmm. um, and then 
obviously they choose their particular gap plan um, and they would have that. Is Usually, that all over the board though, Joel? Could the price tag be everything? Price I mean, you tag, have to shop this good? Yeah, you definitely have to, you definitely have to shop you have to shop that out. I highly recommend going to somebody that mm -hmm. really understands a Medicare and in your particular area. Mm -hmm. Depends on your zip code, mm -hmm. uh, depends on either smoke. Oh, wait a minute, I just want to make sure. I, I, first of all, you told me I'm means tested for part B, and now I might pay more or less depending upon my zip code. Yeah, that's correct. Unbelievable. That's correct. Unbelievable. Uh, I mean, this is all over. This is hard to track. It, it, it is. And this is all you, I mean, I know you do full-blown planning, but this is an area that you really stick on with seniors because this could hurt a senior if it's not done right. Correct. It, it sure could. They could choose maybe a Medicare Advantage mm -hmm. plan and realize, which is which Medicare Advantage is a replacement, it's called Part C. They mm -hmm. usually get the A, B, and usually the drugs in most areas. They, in some cases, it mm -hmm. could be a little bit different. But they could choose a plan, and then after the six months, they have a period of time where they can choose a plan and they get no health questions for their Medicare cap. Mm -hmm. uh, but I have had people that have a Medicare Advantage plan and all of a sudden, a year and a half later, they said, ah, I don't really want this plan. Sorry, you have a little health problems. Now, how do you get that Medicare cap plan? Mm -hmm. Can't really happen. All right, so we really needed to attend to this. Health is a big determinant and we need to make sure we got this down. Okay, mm -hmm. you said drug plan. Okay, is that, what is that, Medicare part what? Part D, D is drugs. drugs. Okay, Correct. fair enough. All right, so pretty expensive or pretty straight up? Well, it, it depends on how many drugs you do have, mm. you know. If you only have a few drugs, obviously mm -hmm. you could choose a plan, you know, in your local area. Pharmacies make a difference depending on what you, you're really mm -hmm. looking for. Um, that can be very, that can be very inexpensive, but mm -hmm. remember you're choosing a plan for all year. Mm -hmm. So you want to, you, you want to look at something broad and say, what if I did need a mm -hmm. little more expensive generic or, um, some plans may say is you, Hey, you have to use such and such pharmacy. Well, I don't want to use that pharmacy. Mm -hmm. Depends on what your individual mm -hmm. needs are. So you got to think about, Hey, is this plan going to speak to the pharmacy? I've been using all my life. Correct. Yeah. Right, so it certainly so can make another, a big difference. Yeah, I, I can see how you have to spend time on this. This is really interesting what about the thing i keep hearing about this thing called forget all that do the cadillac plan right what is the cadillac plan what is that medicare part is it f or i can't remember exactly what the number is well it, it well, that's letter f after mm -hmm. they get the a and b and we talk about the cadillac plan that's plan f and that covers all the co-pays and the deductibles from the a, part a and b so medicare has got to pay their first and somebody mm -hmm. calls the f and we call that traditionally mm -hmm. the gap plan so that's everything all in is that more expensive generally? Is it a lot more? Well, it, depending on your particular area, mm -hmm. you know, you in uh, I'm here in the Florida Florida region, mm -hmm. and that that can be from 170 to 200 dollars extra a month mm -hmm. on top of your Part B. Wow! So it's Cadillac for a reason. It's, it could That's be expensive, true. but you may be able to just say, "But I've got it all covered, and it's off my mind." That's true. That's true. Okay, and I notice, you know, because you do full-blown planning, I've noticed one thing that people keep making false assumptions on. Here's a big one on Medicare, mm -hmm. that it actually covers long-term care and home care. Yeah, okay. unfortunately. I mean, Joel, I mean, I can't believe the email I get on this all the time. Steve, what do you mean it doesn't cover it? Well, unfortunately, unfortunately, people do automatically think it's going to cover long-term care, mm -hmm. uh, which is more facility or home mm -hmm. care. and. Obviously, when people get older, most likely mm -hmm. they realize they can't get frail and some things can happen to them. Mm -hmm. Technically speaking, on the Medicare, you can get a little assistance here at home, but not the type of assistance mm -hmm. that somebody really needs. Mm -hmm. you, can get, you can get help uh, on um, maybe you have an injury, occupational therapy, that sort of route. But if you really need you know, yourself mm -hmm. bathe and the uh, essentials that you mm -hmm. just do, do normal things in life, that's when it's a little bit different. Medicare okay, so just we have cover to start it. thinking that, you know, activities of daily living yep. really isn't covered under Medicare. That's correct. So if you need visiting angels to come to your house, that's it, probably it, not going to be on your Medicare plan. Like, that's correct. It, okay. it, won't, it won't be on your Medicare okay, plan. Okay, now, you know, I, I've know, uh, you know, seniors die. Husband and wife team, dad dies, all of a sudden part of the Social Security is gone. Uh, dad dies, his uh, tax exemption has gone. Uh, all of a sudden, Medicare is affected because he's gone. Do you see a lot of planning for first spouse death? I know you do it, but do you see other people doing this? No. It, unfortunately, at that age, people really just don't uh, have talked to somebody that's really in the field mm -hmm. and really wants to uh, 
have that just common discussion. Sure. Well, listen, remember, if you're listening to our show on radio, iTunes, or a podcast, you can view the video version online at rightonthemoneyshow.com and request information right from this segment. In our next segment, we're going to talk to another top retirement specialist in our series on retirement advice. We'll be right back right after the break. For more information on this week's money topics, just go to our website at www.rightonthemoneyshow.com and follow Steve's daily postings on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. When it comes to retirement, money management, small business, insurance coverage, college funding, or budgeting, we have the interviews you can use. 